So let's escape this reality Go to places we've never been Do things we've never done before It'll be just you and me What if I have gravity As we flow through the air Without a care in the world Welcome back to our Italy vlog series. This one's going to be very different from the last one. If Rome was super jam-packed with activity, this one is going to be the opposite, where we had a very relaxing, lovely, laid-back time in the Tuscan countryside. Allora, andiamo! <laughs> First, we bravely rented a car to take us from the bustling center of Rome to the peaceful Tuscan countryside. And our first destination was the Tornia Hot Springs, aka Cascata del Mulino. Yes, we saw the warnings on the vlogs and blogs to get there early, but we decided to value our sleep and it was a two hour drive to get there. Oh, it's warm. It's warm? Yes. Yeah. Nice. So sure enough, we were met with a gigantic crowd because this was also on a Saturday. Nonetheless, the scene was beautiful and we got to dip our feet in some magical blue water. The benefit of having all these people was that you can better grasp how large the spring was. When I saw this place in aerial shots, I thought it was half as big as it really was. Funny thing, Dennis didn't believe me that this was natural. He thought this was man-made. And then we were off on our way to our Tuscan Airbnb near Montepulciano, which is in the heart of Val di Orsia, a lovely stretch of smooth, beautiful hills and wine country with medieval hilltop villages. Our drive there was lovely, 10 times more beautiful than I caught in film, because every time I saw something and pulled up the camera, we passed the best part. But that's what makes it even more beautiful, those scenes that are saved only for our memories. This is where the trip had a rocky moment, quite literally, because Google Maps decided to take us on a turbulent dirt road that became extremely narrow, closing in on our cars and leading to a dead end. At this point, I was kind of freaking out because there was no cell service and the sun was going to set soon. Miraculously, we somehow got our car out, but that was not the end. Finally, we arrived at our Airbnb, which I was really looking forward to for its stunning view of the hills with an infinity pool, lovely outdoor area with olive trees, which was all accurate. That part was all accurate. So at this point, I was thinking our troubles are behind us and we can finally relax for the evening, but boy was I wrong. The issue was that I didn't read between the lines and really think through what Tuscan countryside and farm statement, which is that it will come with a variety of bugs, very large bugs for that matter. Not harmful, but if you are phobic of bugs, probably not the best idea, which I didn't think through for some reason. And additionally, it means that the amenities will be like original and vintage. That part was fine, but the bugs were basically giving me a panic attack, just like in tears, freaking out. Dennis was like trying to like kill bugs, trying to calm me down. Eventually, we're like, you know what? We'll eat the cost of the Airbnb and just book another hotel. That was probably the most tense part of the entire trip. Luckily, we found availability at a nearby resort called The Precise Tale, Poggio alla Sala, which was a huge relief. Couldn't completely avoid the bugs with this one either, but it was much more manageable, and we were greeted by a cute room, yummy treats, and top-notch hospitality. It's too dark to show you the property now, but I'll show you tomorrow. Anyhow, Dennis and I had a delicious romantic dinner with some wine from the estate and turned in for the night. One touch and you got me stoned, higher than I've ever known. You call the shots and I follow. Oh, oh. Sunrise, but the night's still young No words, but we speak in tongues If you let me, I might say too much Your touch blurred my vision It's your world and I'm just in it Even sober, I'm not thinking straight Cause I'm off my face In love with you I'm out my head So into you 
As we entered into the main central square of Pienza, we heard a beautiful cello playing Perfect by Ed Sheeran. This was the song that Dennis and I did our first dance to at our wedding, so my heart was just fluttering at this coincidence and it felt like it was meant to be. It almost felt like we were dancing in the center of the square. They must have known it's our honeymoon. Holy moly. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Whoa! This is really steep. Got it. Oh, this is the clock. Oh, what? Oh, clock. Okay. Okay. So let's escape this reality. Go to places we've never been. Do things we've never oh. done. After exploring Pienza and Montepulciano, we were tempted to go to a third, but we decided to come back to our fairy tale like hotel to enjoy a low key evening and recharge.
can have the entire gym to yourself. This place is really nice, but there's like no one here. So I have like the entire spa to myself. I'm like very contemplating if we should do late checkup tomorrow morning. Oh